Hi, I'm Tom Lydon with ETF Trends here in Chicago at the Morningstar Investment Conference with Mike Cronin, President of Marketing Services for Exchange Traded Concepts. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you, Tom. The ETF industry is kind of like the auto industry where we have the big three. We've got BlackRock, uh, we've got Vanguard, we've got State Street. But there are a lot of companies, managers with good ideas that are coming to market with ETFs and you're helping them. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, some of our successes were Robo Global. Um, they were, you know, they came to market four years ago. They they were, um, you know, in about last year they really, um, you know, got the marketing in line and, and we grew them uh, by about two billion in assets uh, last year alone. Uh, EMQQ, another one, um, you know, small startup, uh, single manager uh, who also manages a head fund. Um, they gained another 500 million in assets last year. So we've really been helping, you know, the little asset manager, um, you know, really st who's taken a created an index and then brought it to market. And so that's really been one of our strengths. Because going it yourself can be daunting if you haven't done it before. Yes. Your team basically has experience of launching many different ETFs, working for ETF providers, things like that. But um, you, you've got to have some key ingredients in order to work with them as well. So maybe walk us through what are the three most important um, things you need in order to have a successful startup? Well, I mean, so our team is made up of, you know, Garrett Stevens, our CEO, and Jay Baker, who's head of capital markets. So, um, and, and, and Abby, uh, who's also our general counsel. So the legal components uh, are really key. So having someone to guide you through the filing process, the 19 B4s, you know, and, and really to respond to everything correctly is, is, a, is a great sort of consultative service to have. And yeah. so we provide that. We provide the capital markets uh, direction, so we introduce you to the APs and, and the market makers. And then on the marketing side, we uh, will create a whole marketing plan for you and then bring you to market, do the competitive analysis and the positioning for you. Yeah. So that's really the key. And, and, and that's what you guys do, but like, if you're an advisor and in your mind you're thinking, I've got the greatest ETF idea, talk about what they need in order to be successful. Well, you know, they need to have a dedicated team that is willing to you know, just devote all 100% of their time to get seeing a product to be successfully launched. Yeah. And you know, to do that, you're gonna need someone that has the management experience to handle the legal um, and compliance side, and then someone on the marketing side to, to work with us to really pull the, all the information together and get the positioning down. You need some money as well. Yes, yes, that helps. Uh, you know, we always say it's about $250,000 a year on our side to, to $350,000, and then all in, it's about $2, two million to $3 million, uh, to really bring it to market successfully. Over a period of time. Over a period of uh, two to three years. Two to three years. Yeah. So that, that's a number that's key and critical. And just because you get to market and launch doesn't mean that you're, you're home. No. Right? Absolutely not. Because at that point, it's, you, there's a lot of education that has to happen, the marketing. Right. Talk about that a little bit. So, you, you know, you, you hit on the, the keys, right? It's education, creating awareness. So you have to you know, get out there and, and create the awareness of the product, why it's unique, and then why it's, it's a good fit in your portfolio. And so yeah. really, you know, getting that message across and then make people comfortable with you as a manager and why that strategy is going to be successful for them. So you've worked with well-established money managers that have been around for decades. Yes. You've also worked with young managers that maybe just might be managing money but have that really cool idea and um, uh, we enjoy working with you because every time I have a conversation you're one of my main sources for new ideas <laughs> that are coming to market and I get so excited about that so thanks well that's great yeah great seeing you Mike and continued success great thanks Tom